Morning, everybody. 3.30 a.m. Wake up call. Over in the honeymoon suite today. We're off fishing and crabbing. I like to get an early spot. The reason being is want to get a good spot on the boat. You can get some real lousy spots. Are you right, Janet? You can get good spots or lousy spots. So we try to get over there so we get the uh, best spot. So it's worth getting. Otherwise, you're lines are tangling all day it's a freaking nightmares all right waiting for the boss to emerge <laughs> let's keep our fingers crossed he's in a well never in a good mood but an okay mood morning boss shut up <laughs> shut up i brought my glasses shut up Sunglass? You bring your sunglasses? Yeah. Uh, I got my sunglasses. Boss told me to shut up. Alright. I better check and make sure I got mine. 4 16 a.m. Sunglasses checked. Oh boy, it's like getting up for a work day, huh, boss? It's just like getting saying? up for work. I didn't even tell Bob to good morning yet. Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy? No. No? That's good. Excited, we're gonna bang some crabs today and get some cod. I think I'm gonna get a ling cod today. I got the feeling today's the day. Check, check. <clears throat> got your sunglasses? Check. On our way. Let's get the beast moving. Oh. Woo! All burned up. Got a lot of ash on the windshield. A little off here. Huh? Yeah, a little off. Not going home. Early morning. 4.18 a.m. Off to Bodega Bay. Doesn't seem like any wind today, but you never know. Out on the bodega could be a totally different story. Yeah. But they've been getting full limits of crabs. Janet said they're at 1 o'clock. They've been heading in, so... It's an early day. An early day? I hate getting back in the dark. <laughs> yeah, well, we did the first time. We leave in the dark and get back in the dark. Right. You check in the loads then, huh? Yep. I think the only thing we got to do is pick up three more fish bags up at the store. Yeah. That's, that's it? That's yeah. It. Otherwise, I think we're all set. What's he charge for those? What do you charge, like $2 a bag or something? Maybe $3. Three bucks a bag, something like that. Okay.
made it to the boat, but it is dark. Dark, dark, dark. New Sea Angler. Boy, you gotta really watch it today. There's a lot of ice on the deck here. Can't really see it, but holy smokes. Sorry, a lot of people on board. Stand here. Here comes the boss. Yeah, it's icy here. Okay. Yeah, real ice heater. Something you don't see too often in this part of California. Yeah, we got to get some more. All right, Mr. Janet, we got to go up to the shop. We forgot the squids. Yeah, we're not going to get any. Captain Rick, if you see this video <laughs> later, bottom line, brother, we dropped squid last time we never used, so we're just even up today. All right, off to the shop. Janet, a lot of people there early, huh? Very early. Very dangerous on deck, too. There's a lot of ice down there. All right, we're coming over to the shop area. That's Captain Rick's restaurant. I guess everybody's waiting for the shop to open. Have a hell of a crowd today. Wow. Man. Where's the captain? I don't know. There's a lot of people here. There's Captain Rick. Open it up. There we go. Yep. Got all the squids. It's uh, the first time he wasn't open. Yeah. Well, I thought we were early. It's like we're late today. That's what you want to start with. That's what you need. Right, so That's it. Money making machine. Captain Rick. Sacks? Cash on the barrel. I got sacks and flies ready. Okay. Need two sacks apiece. All right. So, yeah, if you had to, if you were short on cash, you could do an ATM at the end of the day. Okay, just the squid. 2916. So, she's, is she home yet? No. No, that's going to be four or five days. Pretty sure. But thank you for asking. That's very nice of you. Okay. 
You gave me 20, right? 40. You gave me 40. Yeah, yeah. What was the total? 2916. 2916. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. See that? <laughs> there we go. Right on. Yep, yep. Thank you. Three bags, two squeeze. We've got all kinds of other squeeze and bags and supplies. You already have some with you a million times. Um, yeah. You already got a couple of with you. Yeah. This is our fourth trip, so. Yeah, I know. Got <laughs> <laughs> right there. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> Captains good never you. forget. Good to see you too. Yeah. Hope your wife's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay. Good. Uh, maybe we just throw these in there, right? Like that. I think there's three of them there. I think there is. Yeah. I think we just need two squids. So. You got three of you? Well, we brought one with us, so we, just we need two more. a piece. So that's good. Okay. Oh, one more. Okay. All right. So we got. Two pieces now. And 37 points. All righty. Right on, guys. Right on. We're going to have some fun. Yeah. Cod today. There we go. If it's not smoky so, out there, is it? Yeah, it's not too you know, not, I don't think it's not too bad. All right, Captain. Rick, there was some board. Thank you. Okay. We'll see you then. All right. The way you do it. How do you turn this on? <laughs> full boat. All right, Jan, it's going to be a full boat. Well, he got me anyway. I wasn't yeah. going to buy anything, and I ended up with $40 worth of shit with the uh, captain. Now you need two squid each now. That's Used to be one. one. Now you mm. need two. He needs that. He's running. <laughs> oh, man. Captain Rick, if you see this video, which I'm sure you will, Good on you, huh? Captain Rick's a money machine there. Shit. Woman's like uh, hand the credit card. He's like, sorry, cash on the barrel head. Cash only. Cash okay, only. back to the boat. Some of the boats. Quiet morning, but cold. Careful that ice there. There's I brought a... Yeah. Can I have a full boat today? Yeah, there was some ice on the deck. Good morning, everybody. Welcome on board the New Sea Angler. Oh, see, Sharky, huh? Sharky's here. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Everybody living in the island of Rock Creek Gold. Yeah, I just passed Sharky on the way in. All right, everybody checking licenses and everything. All right. How many of you guys today? You, Rod. Uh, working? It's me, Kevin, and then the other one. Three. Oh, two deckheads? Two deckheads. Go. You're used to my GoPro. <laughs> I make good videos of you guys. Yeah. Well, my stuff's not bad, so. I know, but I'm 
not here first. No, he would. I've been here since I've been here for an hour and a half. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Thanks. It's my ideal. One glorious day. year. There we go. It's an annual event. It's an annual event. Welcome everybody on board the new CA. It's a pleasure to have you here. Come on back, guys. Come on back to the back, guys. Don't be shy. I want to get an early start here this morning if we can. My name is Rex Powers. I'm the owner operator of the boat. I have owned the boat for 37 years, guys long time. Pleasure to have you guys here. Uh, nice, crisp, beautiful morning in Bodega Bay. And we're not plagued with fire, seriously, so that's a good thing. Anyway, uh, terrible fire that's going on right now. Um, pleasure to have everybody here. This trip is all about Dungeness Crafts. This is a trip that I pioneered 32 years ago. Nobody had ever caught, thought about catching a Dungeness crab on a charter boat. So this is a trip that I'm proud of. Uh, here we are 32 two years later. We're harvesting crabs, we're catching rock cod, we're having fun. But I have to tell you, the main thrust of this trip is Dungeness crab, okay? Uh, all summer long, I do a lot of crazy combos. I'm all about production. That's the name of the game to me. It's all about production. And if you guys have fished with me, you know that I don't fish by a clock and I want to catch them all. So all summer long, we do it all. Salmon, rock cod, lingcod, halibut. As a matter of fact, the last week of Dungeness crab season this year, we closed in June, and believe it or not, we were the only charter boat on the coast that was still fishing crab. You can't catch them if you don't try. So the last week of June, guys, the last 18 days of June, not only, not only were we taking full limits of salmon, Limits of rock cod, hammer on the link cod, but the last 18 days we caught 5,000 Benjamin's crabs. The fish with me, you know that I want to catch them all. But this trip today is all about crab. So I don't go here and try and catch reds and browns. I don't do that. I don't try and knock out big numbers. It's all conditions. I want to go harvest some crabs. So if you wanted them all, salmon, rock cod, link cod, halibut, you probably should have been here this summer. <laughs> the salmon season's over. We had a fantastic salmon season, by the way. We caught thousands of salmon on this morning. As a matter of fact, it by far surpassed anybody's predictions. We caught thousands and thousands of salmon. We caught thousands of lane cod. And we caught tens of thousands of rockfish. And by the way, guys, guess what? I'm on a roll because we have taken full limits of rock cod every single time I've tried this year. So don't mess me up, all right? <laughs> Please don't, I'm on a roll. You can find some that'll bite, but the main thrust is Dungeness crabs. And I have to tell you, we opened our season on Saturday, and we've been lucky enough to catch 10 Dungeness crabs for everybody on this boat every day. But there's a lot of work that goes into crabbing. A lot of work. Most of the work happens before the season starts. My deckhands work on the gear for probably two months before we even put a crab pot in the water. Because let me tell you something, you don't just throw a crab pot in the water and watch it load up with Dungeness crabs. There's a lot more to it than that. A lot of work goes into it. Number one, you need the right crab pot. We pulled a crab pot in yesterday, I think it's laying on the dock. Crabs wouldn't crawl into it. It's not fishing. We didn't catch one crab out of that pot. You don't want to crawl into that trap. You gotta have the right gear. But in June this last year, the last 18 days, we caught 5,000 Dungeness crabs on this boat. No other charter boat even caught one. Because they weren't trying. You can't catch them if you don't try. And that was a bonus. Today, we're gonna target those crabs. Back in June, it was a bonus. So. We're gonna go try and find some rock cod, and we're gonna hopefully catch some crabs. The squid off each hook. The 
fish have not been active. So when I stop the boat, we catch enough to know they're there, but we really can't get them into a frenzy. The idea is you want to fool the fish. It's all presentation, guys. Presentation is the key. You guys are fishermen, you know presentation is the key. Whether you're fishing for trout in a river or rock cod in the ocean, it's all presentation. Salmon, same thing. We don't allow customers to cut bait on the boat, guys, okay? When we fish rock cod, we ask everybody to bring a pound of squid. When we fish, when we salmon, when we fish salmon, we supply baited hooks. They're hand baited anchovy baited hooks. There's a marine toilet in here, sensitive at best. If you throw a foreign object down here, down this boat, it's gonna quit working. What do we do then? Anybody know? That's one way to put it. <laughs> Buckets. You said use a bucket, but you didn't quite use that, that term at all. Now hold it, Rick. Hold it? <laughs> I don't know about that. Usually the answer I get is, you know what that means, right? Over the side. I had a gal tell me the other day. Cute little thing standing in front of me. We had a bunch of guys on the boat. I said, what happens when somebody breaks a toilet? And she's she standing in front of me. She goes, Captain Rick, Captain Rick, I know. And I said, what? She said, we'll go over the rail. This gal said, the guy next to her, he's looking at her. He says, you know, I'm gonna go break that toilet right now. He said, I don't even care about the fishing. I've never been inside show. We're not gonna do that, guys. We're gonna use a five gallon bucket, low maintenance, no plumbing, they never break. They work really well. But they're uncomfortable for the gals. Okay, guys, enough rhetoric. Uh, we're gonna get underway. I love to talk, but I'm gonna cut it short this morning. And uh, let's get out there and have some fun. I think that we're going to have pretty good weather today, but I have to tell you, we opened the season on Saturday and we've been dealing with hard northwest wind daily, every day. Yesterday the wind didn't come up, they called for it, we didn't get it. Today I think it's going to be pretty good, but we've been dealing with wind on a daily basis. We were out opening day, 12 o'clock midnight, setting that gear, we had 30 knots of wind and about a 10-12 foot swell. So we couldn't range very far. Well, let me tell you, a lot of work goes into this crabbing, and every pull is different. You never know what you're going to do from one day to the next, and that's what makes it fun.
like that. Drop down quick. I got one on two, I think. Sorry about that. Thank you, Captain right, Rick. There we go. Thank you. Those canaries are biting now, guys. Get that line down. Thumbs up, Janice. <laughs>
Coming home. 